Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Learning, and today we're going to be talking about why you should diversify your portfolio. Now, I just want to give a brief shout out to our previous video because some of these concepts might tie into our previous video, which was the differences between active and passive investing, so be sure to watch that video as well. So diving right into things, what exactly is diversification? Well, diversification is a practice of spreading out your investment so that way one particular asset doesn't take a large percentage of your portfolio. Now, what this helps is it helps reduce the volatility in your portfolio over the long run. So what exactly is volatility? Volatility essentially is just the uncertainty of a security. Uh, the risk that'll go up or also the risk that'll also go down. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, I don't want to learn about diversification. But here's the thing. And most investment professionals will say that diversification is one of the most important things about investing for it allows you to make returns safely over the long run. Now, the best way to understand this is to give you an example. So let's say that you really love cell phones. So you decide to put your entire portfolio into cell phone stocks. Well, uh-oh, you pulled the short straw because a crucial component in cell phone manufacturing is no longer in production. Well, guess what happens? Cell phone stocks begin to plummet, and it doesn't plummet by itself because it takes your portfolio with it too. Now, this all could have been avoided if you just diversified your portfolio. Maybe instead of putting all into cell phone stocks, you put it into Bitcoin or oil or maybe a little into Amazon. Now, when the cell phone stock was a plummet, it wouldn't take your portfolio with it too. Let me address a question that a lot of investors have. How many stocks should I have in my investment portfolio? Now, the thing with having too little stocks is that maybe you'll have higher returns. However, there's higher risk. So maybe you'll have higher returns, but you can also lose a lot of money. Now, the thing with having a lot of stocks in your investment portfolio is that the other stocks will start to dilute the stocks that do go up. However, it's very low risk. Now, in my own opinion, 12 to 15 stocks works perfectly for me, all distributed across many different industries. Now, a key part in diversification is something called asset allocation. Now, what exactly is asset allocation? Asset allocation is an investment portfolio management technique that allows you to reduce your risk by spreading out your investments into multiple major categories, such as cash, bonds, stocks, or even real estate. Now, the thing to take away from this is that these different categories have their own risks and have their own returns, so over time, they'll behave differently. Why this is important is because these different categories don't move together in unison. At sometimes one category will be doing really well and one category could be doing very poorly. Now, if your investments are spread out into these different categories, it allows the categories to balance each other out and reduce the volatility and create a much safer investing experience. Now, there are many different types of strategies and you can look these up. And now, it all depends on maybe you're a much safer investor or you're a more aggressive investor. So you can kind of find your niche. Now the thing I want you to take away from this video is that diversification can help reduce risk massively. It helps reduce volatility and it creates an overall safer investing experience. Now don't get this mistaken with not losing money at all because you will be losing money. However, you'll be losing a lot less money and the returns will be greater than that. Now that about wraps it up for this video. I understand this is a little bit of a shorter video, but thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, maybe leave a comment and we'll be posting a video next week. Peace.